Breaking news, HSBC, the banking giant, has struck a $550 million deal to sell its Argentina business to Grupo Financiero Galicia. This move is part of HSBC's strategic overhaul to zero in on higher value opportunities in Asia. The bank has been diligently streamlining operations, pulling out of markets that have proven challenging, such as France and Canada. This sale, however, is expected to result in a $1 billion pre-tax loss for HSBC in the first quarter of the year. HSBC's decision to exit Argentina has far-reaching implications. This move is a clear indication of the bank's strategic overhaul, with a keen focus on higher value opportunities in Asia. As a result, the bank's global footprint is set to undergo a considerable transformation. However, this shift is not without its challenges. HSBC's China business has been impacting its earnings due to exposure to the troubled real estate industry. This situation presents a precarious scenario for the bank as it navigates the complexities of the Asian market. On a broader scale, this could potentially impact HSBC's future strategy. The bank might have to reassess its market presence, considering the risks and opportunities in the regions it operates. It's a delicate balancing act between exiting struggling markets and capitalizing on profitable ones. Furthermore, this decision is a reflection of a broader trend in global banking. Banks worldwide are re-evaluating their strategies, focusing more on their core markets rather than maintaining a presence everywhere. This move is indicative of a shift in global banking trends, with banks increasingly focusing on core markets. So, what does this mean for HSBC and the global banking landscape? In a nutshell, HSBC's decision to sell its Argentina business is a part of its broader strategic overhaul to concentrate on high-value opportunities in Asia. This comes as the bank continues to streamline operations by exiting markets where it has experienced difficulty. The impact of this decision on HSBC's global operations could be significant, considering it's expected to result in a billion-dollar pre-tax loss for the first quarter. It remains to be seen how this strategic move will shape HSBC's future and influence global banking trends.